RJ Smith here with another LEGO Star Wars 2013 uh, set summer set review. And today we have the Jedi Defender Class Cruiser, an Old Republic set from obviously the Old Republic game. Set number is 75025, ages 9 to 14, because there's 927 pieces and it's £100 or $90. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, before I get into the negatives, I just want to say it's a brilliant set. Just no question. It is definitely up there. You know, it is... Well, it's good. Let's just put it that way. You know, I mean... Uh, I'm not sure if it's the best um, old public set we've had yet. Because, I mean, the... the What's it called? Sith Fury Class Interceptor was pretty good, actually. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll see. I might compare it. I'm comparing this to a frigate later in the view. Now, this isn't the actual view you'll be seeing. This is just like the intro view. I'm going to change the camera angle in a minute. It's just the fact that I want you to see the box. At the moment, because this, because the set is so big, obviously I'm going to zoom in on this set to do the actual review, and then at the end I'll do the box. Uh, so, yeah. Now the price. The price, yeah. £100 and $90. Guys, now for all of you who don't know, um, obviously there is a different exchange rate from pounds to dollars, obviously. Uh, I think the exchange rate is like 1.5, like one pound equals one and a half dollars or something, something like that. So, ever since the beginning of time, um, in Britain, um, we've been overcharged for Lego sets. Because if we pay a hundred pounds for a set, any set, that's the equivalent of like a hundred and fifty dollars. And if you pay $100 for a set, that's the equivalent of like £75 that we have to pay extra. And the reason we accept that in Britain is just because, you know, that's never going to change. And I'm not entirely sure. It'd be really nice if they could change that. But, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, though. So, and we've just all accepted that. That's the same price. Or sometimes it's a bit cheaper in pounds as opposed to, like, if you get my meaning. Um, but $90 to £100, even if it was one to one. That means it would still be more expensive in pounds. That's what really annoys me. Even if it was one pound equals one dollar. But it's not. One pound equals one point five dollars. You know, and if you can work this out, you can understand why I'm so upset about how much more this would cost in pounds. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think it's worth a hundred pounds. But, you know, especially for the amount of pieces. But, yeah, you can really understand. I hope you can understand why this annoys me so badly. But... You know, at the end of the day, it's nothing to do with the set. I suppose it's just Lego. Um, yeah. But the set itself is incredibly epic, especially the figures. In fact, it's one of the best sets of this year. Um, but anyway, without uh, so let's get into the actual. By the way, you can see the how to build this. You know, me basically building this set down below in the description. Um, so please watch that. Uh, and I suppose we'll get into the actual review of the set. It was actually quite cool set to build i'm actually quite happy um i was quite happy building it was uh, it wasn't tedious at all or anything it wasn't i don't know boring it didn't get boring after a while considering how many pieces it's got it was actually quite fun and i recommend this set to really everyone but anyway let's get into the set okay guys so i'm back um and now let's get on to the actual set first figure we have we get four new figures well, actually no we get three new figures but another one uh first figure we have it's just a Sith Trooper. We've had him before. We got him in the Battle Pack at the beginning this year. You watch my Battle Pack review for that. For a more, in, uh, you know, in detailed look of him. Uh, just comes with a normal face that we've got before. You know, if you want to build your Sith um, Trooper collection, obviously, this is just helpful to get another one of him. That's cool. Even though... By the way, this is a Jedi set, well, obviously, since it's the name, um, but, so technically these figures aren't meant to come with a set, uh, but it's cool to add them anyway. I definitely think that Sith Warrior is epic. Glad they added him. <laughs> you know, just the same as we got in the battle pack, exactly the same, no difference here. Nice back printing. Get one of him. Uh, not too fussed about him, really. He's just an extra guy. <clears throat> On to the three exclusive figures now. 
all of which are incredibly epic, especially this guy, I think we can all agree. Uh, first guy we have, by the way, none of these have names, which doesn't really annoy me. It annoys some people, but it doesn't annoy me. The fact that these don't have names, for example, Jedi Knight, Jedi Counselor, and Sith Warrior. You know, not like Master Gali or whatever. Not the actual names. Like, that doesn't annoy me, to be honest. That doesn't annoy me, to be honest. Um, don't know why, it just sort of doesn't. But this is the Jedi Knight, apparently. Now, if you've seen the CGI trail, you do see him with that other Jedi. Oh, I've forgotten her name. But the one that came in 2012 in that Striker Class set thing. That another person. Um, and I assume, uh, you know, I just assume he's the same species as Darth Maul. So he's got the horns. Well, I don't know. Maybe. You do see him in the CGI trail at the very beginning. He gets killed, unfortunately. That's a bit of a bummer. By Darth Malgus. Some very nice face winning there. Very nice. Very detailed. Very nice. No back face printing or anything. Nice. On the torso and the legs, which are really the most, you know. <laughs> There's really nothing to compare these figures to, to be honest. They're just... I don't know. Just figures. Uh, so it's always nice, you know, you can add them to your minifigure collection. And it's always nice to get another Jedi. Especially if you want to build your old Republic army, this is one of the best sets you can get. If not the best. You know, with this... Pro plating and... Printing. It's actually very nice. Look at all this, it's so, so nice, seriously. So beautiful. Oops. By the way, he does come with a blue lightsaber. Which is a bit strange, I thought um, he would come with a green one. I'm not sure what colour lightsaber he had in the CGI trailer. I've forgotten. But, you know, look, he looks like a sort of green person. <laughs> if you understand, because, you know... Jedi tend to look like, you know, you can see the sort of Jedi and think what kind of lightsaber, what colour their lightsaber will be. It just looks like, you know, or well, at least it is for me, so I don't know, maybe. That's very cool. And you just got the green legs and all that. that this guy is extremely cool. I think he's going to be worth a lot of money. Even if you don't want the set for whatever reason, because I think this set is awesome. But even if you don't want it, I think you definitely buy it just to keep it in the box and then resell it. Or just to keep it for, like, the figures or something. Or whatever. You know, I mean, really, you should really get two of this set, quite frankly. One of which um, you should open and keep all the figures and whatever. One of which you should keep in the box, completely box, you know, mint condition. You can resell it and make a ton of money. Seriously, in a few years, I think it'd be worth a ton of money boxed. Actually, I might even do that. You never know. Um, so he's incredibly epic. He's got a blue lightsaber. He's awesome. On to the next one, we've got a Jedi Counselor. I may not sound incredibly enthusiastic about these figures, but actually, I really am deep down. So I'm sort of, I don't know. It's, it's late. It's late at night. You know, uh, I think she's the same species as... Who are you? L Luminara and Dooley? Uh, well, I'm just saying that because of really her headpiece. That's the only reason, obviously. But I mean, I, I assume, I don't know. So I don't do that. She does come with a double lightsaber, double green lightsaber. It seems that like more, more and more Jedis are getting double lightsabers in the past few years. I mean, think about it, you know. General Krell had one. Uh, what was her name? That woman in the Striker class set that I just mentioned beforehand. She had a double one. Now she's got, now this one's got a double one, you know. More people seem to get in double lightsabers. And Ahsoka has two lightsabers in terms of Asajj Ventress and all these different people. They're all getting two lightsabers. <laughs> no one's satisfied with one anymore. It's progress. <laughs> um, the only similarity really is the heading, headdress. There's nothing else. It is obviously the same piece except in white as opposed to black. Got some con contrast there. Uh, yeah. 
you know, just got some... I literally have no idea what the history of the set is at all. It's from the Old Republic game, obviously. Um, but like other Old Republic sets I've reviewed, I have literally no idea when it uh, appeared, anything about it really, because I do not play the game. I tried to download it once, but it didn't quite work. It's a long story. <laughs> um, so yeah. Back in those times, like in the Clone Wars, they had a ton of Jedi to sort of you know, do these things, and you had people just called Jedi Counselors. You know, like the Jedi Counselor, I suppose. So, that's cool. Very nice sort of robes, gold robes there. To really sanctify how important she is. Some very nice back printing, which I don't think... No, Luminara does not have back printing. He doesn't have a back head um, printing either, though. Um, her head is green. Like a head piece. And that's very nice printing there. Very nice. Yeah, all the belt goes round. And she's a critical figure. She's a double green lightsaber, obviously. She's a green person. Yeah. In the back, and there you go. She's incredibly nice. And it's good you get her too. And now, probably onto the best figure of the set, and one of the best of this year. Definitely. The Sith Warrior. My god. We, in the Lego community, have all been waiting so long for a figure like this. So epic. As soon as we saw this figure was coming out, as the sort of detailing we saw, we wanted it. We wanted this guy. The Sith Warrior. I mean, uh, if you've seen the CGI trailer, you know that Darth Malgus, this guy, follow um, is followed by a bunch of these guys. I think, I think they're wearing black, actually, in the CGI trailer, but whatever. Um, and they're all attacking all the Jedi, like an army of Sith. Can't you imagine that? That'd be, that'd be like, intense. You know? And it's actually kind of funny, because he, Darth Malgus, came in a summer set... I don't think it was an exclusive set, but it was a summer set um, of last year, of 2012. And it was one of the best sets, if not the best set of last year. And it was an Old Republic set. And he was one of the best figures, if not the best figure of last year as well. So we get the same thing again. Um, you know, Old Republic set, end of the year. And one of the best figures, if not the best figure of the year. So, you know. Now, where to start? Let's start with the, the um, printing on the legs. Just look at all that detailing. That is just incredible. It's a bit weird how the printing sort of stops. Like with that point, but you know, whatever. That is nice. <laughs> As I said, I think in the CGI trailer these guys are actually in black. I suppose they're red, but I'm not sure. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> I don't know. That is nice printing. See the what? I don't know really what this is at all. I don't know if this is, maybe he's a cyborg. I don't know what he is. I love the way the printing goes into the belt. Pretty nice. He does always come with two red lightsabers with black hilts. And as I've been saying, you know, in the Star Hopper review, we we're getting more and more of these black hilts. And they are incredibly cool. I mean, this guy clearly looks like, you know, he is really... Oops, I dropped his hat. But <laughs> he really looks like he's properly evil. This guy, you know, he's the business. If you get an army of this guy and you and they are led by him, that would be one of the coolest things ever. You know, if someone made a video of that, I would so add it to my favorites. And in fact, I might even recommend it on my channel. So, you know, if anyone watching this, maybe you could consider doing that. <laughs> incredible printing, truly incredible. The 
this is nice. Just the way it's so detailed, so everything. Oh yeah. That sounded wrong. So wrong. <laughs> no on your face. Oops. And as I said, with the Sith Warriors, I mean, sorry, this is the Sith Warrior. Also with the Sith Trooper, they are not meant to be in this set. They're meant to be in a different set. I mean, well, yeah. Because obviously these are bad guys, and this is a Jedi, you know, thing. But I'm so glad, obviously, they include them in this set, because, you know, they are so incredibly awesome. Hopefully, you know, for 23rd, 2014, sorry, we'll have the same thing again, where we'll get another brilliant figure at the end of the year in an old Republic set. You know, no back printing, I mean, no back head printing, but just, oh, yeah. Red eyes there. It <laughs> looks like a bit of a cyborg in a way. So, yeah. Okay. Um, and if I can find it. Hang on. Oh, there it is. Okay, I found his hood. Even though it doesn't have any cape, but he does have a red hood. So that's awesome. And look at that. Look at that figure. Look at him. Imagine that running towards you. That would scare me. A lot. Yeah. Okay. And I think now I'm totally got in the set. But I can't stress how much this is a cool fit. Just like Doc Malgus. I did the review of that set by the way. This is a brilliant figure. Awesome. Okay. Now let's get on to the actual set of the Jedi Defense Crozier. Now, the official name, apparently, according to Wikipedia, is the um, Defender Class Light Corvette, apparently. Um, you know, uh, and that's pretty much the extension of my knowledge. Nothing else really to it. I do know that this was apparently manufactured like 4,000 years before the Battle of Yavin, like BBY, before Battle of Yavin, yeah. Um, which is the first Death Star battle, if you don't know. Um, so, that's a bit of information there. Uh, it is a really cool set. It's a tad smaller than the other £100 sets we've had before, like, I don't know, the Frigate or the, obviously, Star Destroyer and things like that. But, I think it's definitely worth it. I mean, the pig, uh, pieces-wise, it's obviously worth it, but including figures and everything, it is just such a worthy member of your collection. If you want to build an All Republic, um, like, theme, or if you, in fact, like Star Wars just in general, you should get this set, because it appeals to all ages, everything. It is so awesome. It is that awesome. Now, we're going to compare it at the end, but first of all, we'll go through the features. Right, first of all, actually, let's start at the back. We'll start at the back and we'll go forwards. Two massive engines here. Uh, it's kind of funny how you have these massive rings around them, have you, like, these little, just, you know, two by two things in there. That's kind of funny, in my personal opinion. Uh, I love the way it's so detailed in here. Look at all this. Look at all this incredible detailing. This is all so incredible detailing. So nice. Just look at that engine detailing. Doesn't that look awesome? Or is it just me? Now, in the back, we do get this little thing that can just, you know, that goes up. That falls down. And, oh, dear. Yeah, that's one of the problems. The fact that this little box in the back. I can't even get it out now. Okay. Um, doesn't stand up. It does have, like, a little slot. You got this meant to go in, if you can see there. You see, that's that little slot's meant to go in. However, it, you know, there's no tiles or anything in there. So, it doesn't really stay there and it can jiggle about a lot and it can go kind of annoying you're flying about and it you know makes a noise and you've got a red holocron here sith holocron apparently because you know we're getting a lot of holocrons recently and they've all been jedi holocrons now we've got sith holocron i don't know if this is relevant to like the old republic or if this is something lego just decided to put in for the sake of it whatever you can leave in the comments which one it is you play the game obviously um and yeah it just goes to normal crate and there you go that's all. Crate 
and just go back in there. So it's a bit annoying. I wish they had like tiles or something where you can, I mean, sorry, not tiles, um, plate studs, um, you know, for it to stay in position because it does, if you can hear that, it does rattle about, which is annoying. Um, on the sides now, <laughs> it's kind of funny. My mum thought these were side engines, which was kind of funny. Um, by the way, these are stickers here and here. And all around here, all these six are stickers, which is kind of annoying. It's kind of tedious to put these on. You probably saw that in the how to build of this, because it's kind of annoying. Um, this does come off. That's the one complaint I do have. The fact that this, the top of the escape pod, is not attached by anything. It's not attached by any studs. Look, you know, it can, if you tipped over, not that this is really meant to spin, but if you did tip it over for whatever reason, then this do just fall off. They're not attached by literally anything. They're just held there by gravity. You know, so there's nothing on there. Uh, some nice cheating around here. Sticker, as I said. And yeah, that's cool. And there we've got a little seat. We've got one seat. <laughs> um, these are pretty much exactly like the Tanto 4. The way the Tanto 4 has these two things on the side as well. So that's cool. That's a sticker in there. You know, so for the people to escape. You can only seat one person. Although there are only two people who are meant to fly the set in this set, so whatever. And on the other side, it's exactly the same. Exactly the same. Now they do come off, obviously. There wouldn't be a skate pause if they didn't come off, would they? And, you know, just, like most of them, just attach to that piece there. Whoops! And this is what I'm talking about! Anyway, just attach like that. I just broke the lid. <laughs> oh, well, we fell on the floor. My reviews don't like me, apparently. Recently, my reviews have been going wrong. And there's these cool fork pieces. I'm not entirely sure. If ever, we probably have seen these before. But, you know, from this position, they look really cool. However, personally, my personal opinion, are pointless. Because we haven't had them in any other sets that have these sort of escape pods. However, they seem to have stayed in there perfectly fine otherwise. So, I don't know why I've particularly had them these forks in this set rather than the other sets. But, you know. they don't. The forks don't do anything. It's not like they keep it there. Because, obviously, because of this piece, it's going to stay there anyway. So, I don't know what the point in these forks are. But they're there, and they're awesome pieces. Look at that. That's awesome. I, I really love them. They're awesome. And whatever. Um, oops. Sorry. Okay. Now, this top thing up here. I can't do it. Okay. This top thing. Actually, no, we're going to do this. This is a radar dish. Uh, I don't know. Long range radar, I suppose. You know, it's meant to do to communicate. Um,. Uh, at least I think it's a radar dish. <laughs> it looks like one, you know. Can't imagine what else it would be. So yeah, pretty simple design. Just spin. That's that's the maximum of it spinning. It cannot spin anymore. It's a bit of a bummer, but you know. This thing does come up. <gasps> oh, and it's actually really nice. I, I assume this is like the command center or something, because actually, obviously, this is not sized accurate to a figure. It's meant to be a lot, lot bigger than most of the big sets. So, I mean, this is the command center, actually, where they're meant to be, but I don't know. Maybe. Although, I don't know why this thing could come up, because there's nothing in there. There's literally nothing. I mean, there's a there's a thing. Hang on. Okay. There's, like, you know, there's four tiles, but there's, like, nothing else. I don't understand, really, why it can come up. Maybe if you really, if you want to hide someone in there. I don't know. But for whatever reason, this is really cool detailing. I, I really like this design. It's actually really cool. Doesn't that look cool? I think that looks really cool, that design. Seriously. That looks epic. Just fits on very easily. I'm going to put this back on. Okay. Okay, and it just goes on. And there you go. Now moving up, uh, you do get these flappy things on the side. Whoops! I just broke it. I mean, is it only me? Or have you noticed that my reviews recently have really not been, you know, as good quality as normal? Mainly because the, the sets keep on breaking. I mean, the Jewel and Geonosis one was different, but this one really does not break. It's only in the review where it does not corroborate. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Maybe it just hates me. Um, so that does open. No point to it though, because there's nothing inside here. That's just there, because yeah. Uh, some nice detailing on the side here. Pretty cool. 
I think I spaced about engines or something. I don't know. Something. A good grill. Uh, and you'll see it is exactly the same on the other side. Yeah. Uh, and it does come with a handle. Yes, like most of the big sets, it comes with a handle. That, you know, is actually pretty invisible, in my personal opinion. You know, you just looking at it, you probably wouldn't guess where the handle was, unless you already knew. You know. So, it is pretty brizzle, and you can just lift it up, and, whoa, sorry, my bad, I knocked the camera there, That's embarrassing, um, and it's very, it's very unbalanced on both sides, you know, it's very, it's not, well, compared to other, the bigger sets, it's not that heavy, however, you know, it's, you know, it's not the heaviest set in the world, but, it's alright, and you just put that down, and that's out, it just, nothing much to that, it just comes up, and down. Up and down, up and down. Okay, um, <laughs> now this top thing on here does come off, and in there, I have no idea why it comes off because, again, nothing in there. So, I don't know what's meant to go in there. Maybe something. Who knows? Something's probably meant to go in there. Maybe another box. I don't know. Boxes seem to be going everywhere. I don't know what this thing is at all. Maybe it's like a mini laser cannon on it. That's meant to be on the ship. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Maybe it's a, I don't know, short range transmitter. I don't know what it is. Please leave in the comments if you can tell me what this is meant to be. Or why it comes off. Um, when I did read the instructions properly, it is meant to come off. So, <laughs> you know, it just spins around like so very easily. And just slots back in place. And again... Like the um, top of the escape pods, if you spin it upside down, this, I can't put it back in, it will um, just fall off because of, of gravity. It just stays in there because of gravity. There's nothing to keep it there. And in the front now, there's so many hidden things. I mean, you know, there's this thing, and there's this thing, and, just, and now another thing. <gasps> oh, yeah. You know, there's so many things that blend into the rest of the set, and you don't think that's going to come off, but it does. You know, and this is another box with... A blue hologram. The blue version of a red hologram, obviously. You know. Not much to say about that. It's like the same, obviously, except for a red piece. It is now blue. As most sets these days, we're getting holograms. Um, and you can just pull that out. It's kind of a cool feature. And it, just look how much it blends in. I mean, would you have noticed that otherwise? You might have noticed this pin sticking out, but would you really notice that otherwise? Oh, I'm not sure. Um, let's go on the landing gear. Now, I've got a little thing about the landing gear. Oops. Uh, the landing gear, most people, right, people will be doing this review, okay, and I think it does say it's in the instructions or something. Say it's meant, the landing gear are meant to fold up like this. Like a frog. And it's kind of like, you know, see? kind of looks funny because it's like a frog. And it's meant to, oops, and it's meant to zoom around. I mean, you know. That looks funny in my personal opinion. I have other information. Yes. Like the Republic Frigate. I think the feet are actually meant to fold like this. Oops. Like so. And like so. Now if you look from the back, I think that looks better. Definitely a lot better. And we look from the front. Again, I think it definitely looks a lot better rather than a praying mantis. <laughs> See, that looks a bit strange, my personal opinion. It looks funny and just weird. That looks a lot better. And you just fold the legs the other way, basically. Fold the feet the other way. And that's... And that's that. And that's, I think, the way the Republic Frigate's uh, legs fold up. And that's the way I'm folding up these ones. Because that's the way it goes. And I think it might say it somewhere in the box. We'll see later, but who knows. Awesome. Now, on to the, um, obviously, we're going to put them back out again. Obviously, you just pull them out when it wants to land. Now, on to the rotating turrets. Like everything else, like every other set of it, it is flick fire missile. Oh, that was rubbish, but yeah, it does flick. And unfortunately, like the Republic frigates, these are pretty easy to snap because they sort of point out the end. If you walk past or whatever, you know, they might snap off and that's really annoying if you lose them and they do actually spin around and they do stay in position 
you know, that should, which is cool, you know, they do spin around any position, 360, and don't worry, they're not going to shoot the thing here, see, they're not going to shoot the, anything behind it, they do um, spin around completely 360, and that is the same on both sides, yeah, uh, also, please leave in the comments if you can tell me what this thing is, I've got a theory, it might be like a boarding ramp, maybe, I don't know, but it seems massive compared to a, a natural person, what natural person would be, how big they'd be, but I don't know why it folds down, I, don't ask me, I actually went back in the structure to see, but I don't know, it might mention it on the box when we look, but I don't know, please leave in the comments if you know, so, actually at first, when I first saw this set, because obviously I didn't know what this set was, I thought actually, this was the back, because it actually looks like the back of Millennium Falcon, the way these things are. Um, and well, obviously when I saw the engines at the back, I obviously knew that was the back. So it was kind of funny, but then, after that, I then thought, then, well, obviously these are the windows. No! These are actually probably just lights or something. I don't know, like massive lights. This is the cockpit. This small thing is the window. These things on the side are just like really powerful lights or something. I don't know what they are. They do something. <laughs> and I was kind of, you know, at first I thought this was the back, then I thought these were the cockpits, and yeah, so, no, apparently, no, apparently that's the lights, or, I, well, actually, no, that's a lie, I don't know what they are, I have no idea what they are, but I just assume, I don't know, maybe decorating or whatever, I don't know, that's a sticker up there, by the way, there's quite a lot of stickers in this set, unfortunately, but, you know, what you're going to do, quite a lot of fiddly stickers as well, which is a bummer. Uh, and probably the final feature of the set now, I think, is it the final feature? Some nice detailing here, obviously, um, I think it is the final feature. Oh, that's unfortunate. Final feature is these things do open. Oh, and they do attach just by that piece, so they are easy to take up. However, if you put it upside down, they don't fall out. I don't know why they couldn't do that with every other piece. I mean, if you turn it upside down, this piece falls out. This piece falls out. Uh, this one doesn't. Uh, and these two pieces fall out. So, I don't know what I can do with every other piece, but they couldn't. In here, I think it's exactly the same on both sides. Uh, you just get... Hang on, I'm going to show you the other side, because that's where my light is. That's just nice. Do you hang there? And, you know, you just, I think you meant to put the person on there. Because, obviously, as we got in the Mandalorian fighter... You see that piece? Where well, you meant to put the legs between... So that's awesome. And you can just take these off easy because they just do attach by that piece. See? Very easily. Um, and there's a sticker inside uh, which is facing the person. And this is exactly the same on both sides. We've got some nice DNA here. That's a sticker. Mm. Which is very nice. Oh well, yeah, let me just attach. I can't put it back on. Why do you not want to do this for me? Okay. Okay. And there we go. And it does obviously do it both sides. And that's awesome. And the guys do go in there. There's actually quite a bit of space. If you can see in there, can you? Not really. No, but it does go sh all the way through. See, it does go all the way through to each side. So there's quite a lot of space in there to put figures. Uh, by the way, this is meant to be exclusive to the Jedi, this particular vehicle. Like, even though this is probably used in the, like, I don't know, Cold War or something? It was so cool something in the Old Republic War, let's just say. Whatever it was called. Uh, even though it was used in that by the Jedi as, like, a... Well, it was to use them to transport them through the war, however, it was not used for any sort of Old Republic troopers or any sort of military people, you know, just literally just for the Jedi, you know exclusive to them, they designed it and it's their ship no one has meant to touch it even though, I suppose if he wants to you could probably add things um and yeah, I suppose we'll put it down and let's go compare it to some other sets okay so, the first set I've got here, I've got two sets to compare it to, is we have 
Um, what, oops, I broke off the antenna. That's never a good start. We have the Sith Fury Class Interceptor. Where's it go? Okay. Um, it's a, it, it was, you know, pretty much the equivalent of this set, but in 2012. Um, it's also evil, so you can, like, because this one's just obviously a bad, bad guy ship, <laughs> this one's a good guy ship, uh, you can, uh, they can have, like, a massive fight. Uh, now, obviously, the, this one is longer, quite a bit longer, actually, but, I mean, they're still fairly equal size. This one was, I think, was 80 pounds, this one was also 100 pounds. Um, so they are definitely, you know, I mean, that's where really all the similarities end, though. The actual vehicles themselves, they're very, not that similar at all. I mean, they've both got two engines, I suppose, and they've both got compartments at the back. Um, but, yeah. I've, all, by the way, done a review of this set. Um, yeah, nah. I was thinking of putting a link in the description, but I can't bother. Uh, you can check out my other review of this set, and which is pretty cool. And it's actually really cool if you look at it. Compared these two, it's so cool that's that. Um, and now we got, are comparing it to, aha, the Republic frigate. Another set I've just done a, a, a review on recently. The reason is because you know you got to be honest, it does look kind of like it. Look, you know, in, especially including the landing gear. Also, I can't really position these sets very well because they're so big and I can't carry both of them at the same time. Um, but, you know, this one's got two engines like that. This one's got three engines. You can read, um, for, more in de for more detailed view, you can look at my Republic Frigate review. But you can really see how cool these are. Um, I'd say, obviously, the Republic Frigate is longer. But the if you have the Republic Frigate, then this set probably goes from the back of the engines to, like, the beginning of here. The beginning of, like, the, the pods. That's probably how long that set is give or take, you know, so if you have the product freak, you can judge how long that is, roughly, you know, and it is, I think it is, oh my days, I think it's actually nearly exactly the width, oh, sorry, In, um, this bit is nearly exactly the width of the engines at the back, so you can sort of determine the dimensions of that gun if you have a product free it, uh, and yeah, and the landing gear, because obviously, as I saw, as I showed in my product trigger review, that's how the landing gear go up, and I tried to do the same method on this ship, and it worked, and it looks, I think, a lot cooler, quite frankly. Um, so you know, there you go, hmm. really cool set. Uh, and that is, I think, the set. It is definitely, obviously, I'll do the structures. It is definitely phew, up there with one of the best sets of this year. You know, like the public guns for ATG. And all those other things that I thought, which I've already mentioned. So incredibly epic. Seriously. You so need to get this set. Oops. I nearly broke it. Uh, oh, yeah, by the way. Unlike the... Oh, see, they fell off there. That's what I'm talking about. Um, unlike the... Um, what's it called? Republic Frigate. These feet point the same way. Like, they both point that way. Just a little thing there, just saying. Don't know why. I did look at the instructions. You know, I mean, they could have just as easy taken them off and put them on that way, but, you know, they didn't, obviously. Don't know why. Maybe that's more accurate. I don't know the thing. But, who knows. Just sort of put pointing it out. You know. Um. Yeah. So, that is the set. I think it is now time to get the instructions. Just before I go, I just want to say that you should definitely buy this set. No question. It does come with two instructions, obviously. The first instruction manual is actually so much thicker than the second one. It's not, like, evenly spread out. Uh, it does come with six bags. You know, for good stuff. So that's awesome. And actually, it's in the back of the first one where you get the... This. Whatever it is. Um, that's cool. That's your code, if you want to copy it. Um... These are all the figures from the normal um, 2013 summer line sets. Apart from obviously this one, the Star Hopper, and the Ewok Village. But those are all the other figures. I've got a giant poster from the gunship up my wall, uh, just over there. And the last set, apart from the Ewok Village, 
is this set I've got to review then. You know, all the other sets, apart from the Ewok Bridge, I've done for the summer line. That is pretty intense. If you do see the set, I doubt it'll be for some time, because I got these for my birthday, and obviously I didn't get that. So I doubt this set will be coming anytime soon, you know. Um, I'm hoping... I'll get, I definitely want the Ewok Village, Ewok Village a lot more than I want that. So, I don't really want it that much, to be honest. And we'll see. I might get it at some point, but we'll see. And now... Okay. Read, there's nothing in the back of the second manual, apparently. Just the pieces. And I think now it is time to get on to the incredible box. Da -da -da -da. Okay. Ugh. I think it's like the size of the gunship. It probably is. Uh, hang on. Go position my light so you can see. Just set away. Okay. We've got the figures on the bottom there, obviously. Yeah. You know, they don't really have names, just that's their titles. Uh, there's no piece count because it is European. Don't know why, but whatever. Uh, I think that is minifigure scale. Is that? Yeah, well, yeah, pretty much the minifigure scale. As I think with all sets. And obviously the Sith Warrior is the, the best, definitely. And just, you know, that opens. They're fighting. Um... That's the landing gear. Pod. Even though he's not meant to go in that pod because he's not actually on the ship. Maybe maybe Sith Warren and the Sith Trooper are stowaways on the ship. Not meant to be there. They're attacking. I mean, he stands no chance against her, does he? Does yeah. Move that up. That's awesome. They're fighting again. Still fighting. Um... You can actually see that bold thing. That's that's literally my light. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, you can just see that. And that's the handle. And of course, that is... That is the set. The ship. Massive box. Ugh. See, it's, it's as tall as a base plate. Pretty much. Nearly as tall as a base plate. So, there you go. And it's longer than one. This measurement is more. Um, so there you go, guys. That is the set. So much recommend it. So badly. As much as like the um, Sith Rukas Interceptor. You so need the set. Because, you know, once you got like the essentials, like, you know, the, the um, Republic sets, like I've said many times, you know, after them, you really have to get the set. It's definitely one of the best. And actually, I think this year, cause as I'm going to do my um, 2013 best sets, you know, of the year thing at the end of this year, like December or whatever, top 10 best sets, this will definitely be in the top 10, but I think it's actually very interesting to see which one's going to win. And like this, the gunship, the ATTE, you know, and all that, it's actually very interesting to see which one's going to win, because I'm not sure, you know, seriously, you know, um, please comment on which the one you think is going to win the Comment below. Anyway, guys, so thank you. If you are still here, and if you haven't skipped, then congratulations, because I strongly doubt anyone's still here anymore, because, quite frankly, apart from the fact this review went on forever, but there's so much to tell you, the average thing of my videos is like three minutes. Most people don't stay for more than that, so that's a bit of a bummer, but, you know, if you're still here, thanks so much. You know, you're the one who make this channel. Hopefully, we'll get 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, and please, obviously, rate rate if you like this review you know um this figure is awesome uh and i hope that you all get the set very soon because it is so awesome this will, well i don't want to say it's going to be the last 2013 set review of this year i am getting the a-wing literally like during the next week however that's not going to obviously be a new set i might be able to do the ewok village before the end of the year we'll see but i think at some point whether it's this year or next year the ewok village will be done so you know, maybe Jabba Sail Barge. To be honest, if I don't get Jabba Sail Barge by the end of this year, then I doubt I'm going to be getting it, to be honest with you, because, you know, I mean, also haven't got it to say how good it is, but, yeah. Anyway, sorry, guys, it's gone on so long. If you like this review, please rate, please like it, please um, comment on anything else, any facts you got about this set, so it's cool. 
And always please subscribe so we can get 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Woo! Um, and there we go, guys. Please get this set. I hope, you know, you enjoy playing with it. And I will see you in another review. Maybe this year, maybe next year. Who knows? Bye, guys.